is Congress in Kerala has begun screening the BBC docu-series on Prime Minister Modi. And this is being screened by the beachside uh, right in Tiruvannandapuram. This is right, at the cap right in the capital of Kerala at the beachside. That's the Shangmogam beach. In fact, uh, Congress now seems to be making a very political statement uh, public. In, uh, this is uh, Congress's attempt at screening the BBC docu-series, which has now become extremely controversial uh, publicly before the public. Uh, in, they were supposed to screen this in their office, but after they have got, according to sources, the police permission and the clearance, they have gone ahead and uh, screened, begun the screening of the BBC docu-series uh, by the beach side. We will get you these visuals very shortly, but the screening has begun uh, in uh, Kerala by the beach side. These are the visuals that you can see coming before you. Now, we've had a lot of controversy around this. Specifically, there have been universities that have screened, managed to screen this BBC docu-series, docu as well as there have been calls to screen these docu-series in some other Universities. We have had uh, students detained at Jamia University. Uh, where in Jamia University, around 13 students were detained uh, after they had uh, after the uh, uh, early morning call to screen the BBC docu series within the campus uh, later in the evening on Wednesday. There were massive protests outside Jamia after the university refused the screening, refused the permission to screen. Mm -hmm. The docu series in JNU there was a call there was a call to uh, and uh, in Jamia it was the SFI that's the uh, left backed organization that's the CPIM's uh, wing that had given this call uh, to uh, screen the BBC docu series in uh, JNU as well uh, 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 there was a power cut when the uh, screening was supposed to happen but the uh, but the students went ahead and watched it in their mobile phones and their laptops. In University of Hyderabad, we've had the screening. We've had the screening in uh, Kerala Law College as well uh, in Tiruvannandapuram. But here you have uh, a political party going all out. This is beyond just a student body, beyond a youth wing body, a political party directly giving a call to screen um, uh, the docu-series. These are the visuals that you are getting. Uh, this is happening at the Shankmogam beach where uh, the Congress claims that they are making facilities for more people who may be interested in uh, watching this docu-series. A political statement in a political statement being made by Congress in Kerala. And uh, interestingly, this also comes after one of uh, their young leaders, uh, the son of a veteran Congress leader, A.K. Antony, his son Anil Antony quit alleging that the party was uh, uh, alleging that there were threats um, uh, and uh, there were threats given to him and there were tweets of hate uh, that were targeting him all through the night and that there were especially for those who were trying to support Rahul Gandhi during his yatra saying that his yatra was about tolerance but were giving out threats to him for his stand on the BBC documentary series. Now, there are several Congress leaders who have actually gone ahead and uh, 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 spoken in support of the BBC docu-series. Uh, also, Shashi Tharoor has said a documentary series like that cannot undermine the sovereignty of... Uh, cannot uh, undermine the sovereignty of uh, 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 India whatsoever. So here you have the visuals of the Congress in Kerala who has uh, gone ahead and screened this docu-series. You have some leaders and some people outside who are also watching the screening.